Oh gosh, nice. Oh god. Okay, now now it's getting a little bit better. So let's let's start working on a scenario here. So I don't know if anyone can even see this, so we're going to make sure we can. Oops, wrong button. Okay, so now I'm going to start off by saying this. This is what Grand Central looks like from above in the editor. Um, sometimes this game is known for not working correctly and if that does happen i'm just going to pause the stream uh we'll go i'll fix it and then uh basically what you do is you make the game go through its own files and it tells you oh yeah we found an error and then it, you know let me fix it you click fix it and then about you know 12 years later it decides you can work again so for this we're going to do the same thing i've done in the past which is basically creating, see this is Grand Central, uh, a route that's period the timetable, or that's correct the timetable. So in another window, let's see if I can make this work here. Yeah, we're gonna load up the MTA's website. We're gonna go to schedules. Where is it? Long Metro North, east of Hudson. Uh, I think it's this one. Yep. And we're on the New Haven line, so we're going to just pick a weekday. The easiest way to do this is reverse peak. So we're going to go from uh, Grand Central uh, toward New Haven. Now, if you do a peak one, most of the trains are going the same way you are, so you don't see that much. If you do the reverse peak, you know, you're past them all. So if you haven't seen it yet, there is a route uh, put out by me, NYCTA Rail fan. In the uh, Steam Workshop for Train Sim uh, for Train Sim 2020, for the North Jersey coastline, uh, that is a Penn Station to Long Branch service. Again, basically exactly cut from the timetable. Um, and when I say that, it's not just you running on the timetable; it's all the trains you would pass are run by AIs. Um, so yeah. So this is the timetable, the current one, for uh, the New Haven line. So we want the New York to New Haven. Oops. New York to New Haven. And we want a PM train. So the first thing I always do when I make these is come down here, and I want to see when it's going to be really busy the other way. So these are all the two New Haven trains. These are all the two New York trains. So we're two New Haven, so we want to run in the morning. Now, we want to be really busy. Now, they do a, a little bit of a service on this line, and they have a reverse peak, peak fare time, because they you know they can rip you off. So we're going to take advantage of that, and we're going to go ahead and say, okay, so we know that the busy time is going to be when it's peak both directions. So if we pick like a 658, that's a Stanford train, so that doesn't help. We want to go all the way to New Haven. Um, dum, 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 dum. Oh, here we go. How about this one, the 7.30 a.m. train? Oh, man. 7.30, it makes Grand Central, Harlem, was Greenwich, Stanford, Norton Heights, Darien, uh, South Norwalk, Westport. Uh, 
was it Southport? No, Fairfield. And then all stops to State Street. So we even get to go into State Street. So I think that's what we're going to do. The 7.30 a.m. train. So that will be... Um, 7.30. Da, 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 da. So that'll be a State Street train leaving at 7.30 from Grand Central. So now we can go um, back to the game. Let's move that over here. And we're going to back up. So these are all the tracks of Grand Central. They even have the loops. Um, let's see here. Okay. So now you can see that. Um, now, as I hope you know, um, the options that come with the, the trains that come with the route, which this was the New York, New Haven route, show up over here, okay? It came with the ACS 64 electric locomotive, which is catenary, it's not used by Metro North, it's used by Amtrak, it's not very helpful for what we're trying to do. So, there's no other choices here. This is the options we have. Um, doesn't help. These would be all the coach choices we have, and fleets, and then a bunch of uh, freight. These are the consists. Now, again, it's all Amtrak. Doesn't help us. So we want to click on this little button here. I'm going to explain for a little bit, and then I'm just going to start really working on it. Hopefully it all behaves. Um, so this is all of the... This will be all of the scenario equipment loaded into on this computer. And these are the manufacturers of the stuff that I have. So I want DTG. I think it's them. Anyway, the damned things in here somewhere. I should find it. See, this is the problem. You start having a lot of stuff. And then I can load stuff from any route I want, right? So I could take M7s from the Hudson Line route and put them in here and stuff like that. I could also just take random sh and stick it in here, like New Jersey Transit equipment. It, I, the game doesn't care as long as um, it's either electric or diesel or something. Actually, yeah, this one really doesn't care. Maybe they didn't... Maybe, did RSC build it? Okay, here it is. Okay, so I check off that I want this equipment. In that box there, and now it's all appeared, right? So third rail, pantograph, all that crap. Now, that's all well and fine. I can also... Um, it also showed up as individual card. What the hell is this? Oh, it's nothing. Okay. Um, so, like, if I place an M8 car, we have an M8 car, okay? Um, no driver is... It won't show somebody in the cab. OH uh, is overhead. So if we have an you know, A car, we would be on the pads, I guess. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. But you can also just click on consists and say, okay, I want the uh, third rail... It cares. And then after a little bit of glitching out, because it's transom and it just does that all the time, you put it in the station just like that. Now, there's no singles in this game, so we can't run with singles. But, you know, whatever. Um, so I'm not creating any new content, per se, right, that you can't currently play with with on your on your computer at home all that i am doing is adding um scenarios and they will appear <clears throat> once i finish them they'll be in the workshop so normally i would spend all my time i would spend a bunch of time working on this thing on my own time not streaming it live but you know what? Why not? 
calculate the driver. And then this is where the game has a tendency to shit the bed. So let's see here. Let's say uh, pick up passengers. This would be this train here, service number one. And I want you to pick up passengers right where you are. Hey, it looks like it might work. Okay. Um, now, I'm going to have over like a hundred, probably 20 or 30 trains loaded in here by the time this scenario is done. So I'm not going to know what in the hell is going on um, if I don't name the trains something other than service one and service two. That's the default. It'll just keep counting up service one, service two, service 25, 26, so on and so forth. And it gets confusing as all hell. So, we said that 7.30 a.m. train, which is Metro North, train number 1510. So, I'm just going to write train number 1510. And now where it says service 1 over here, so you hit enter, it now says train 1510. Now, all the times and whatnot, I'll change later um, after I test it. So... First thing I'm going to do is place all my equipment where I need it to be. Then we go. Then I go into the hard part of scheduling everything, um, which I really bust myself for on the initial, like on the player train. Oh, I didn't make this a player train. Uh, it's this button here. I'm not gonna. I bust myself on on the player train because it's what shows up, you know, on your timetable. I'm not gonna worry too much about it on. All the others. Now I'm just building out the route. So Grand Central Terminal to 125th Street on track 4. And the red line shows the route that it's giving. And it's going to probably, because it usually does, give some drunk route that has you crossing over like the wrong way first. Yeah, you come over this way, then you come over that way. Okay, so it's the middle of rush hour, right? We're reverse peak commuting there's no way in hell we're using that track that track is on the main one that track is going to be inbound for sure so without a doubt i don't want it to be there i want it to be on main four okay so i'm going to click on the waypoint button Um, set destination. It's not really a destination. It's just a like a waypoint. And I'm going to change that to four. So there's no times because it's just a waypoint. You're just going through it. And then I don't want you to see it. So I'm going to click that. See, so it says uh, hide in task view. So when you look at that list of tasks that you can look at, it won't show up there. Because I don't. you don't need to see it. Right? You're going to be lined up for it and go that way anyway. Now, assuming this game has some sense, yeah, okay, good. It's going to leave you on four the whole way. Sometimes it does some stupid shit where it, like, crosses you all the way over. And then all the way back. So, again, that's why we test. So, you're going to see, I'm going to set up the... Alright, what's the next stop we make? Uh, one, two, five, and then all the way to Greenwich. That's where we split. And that's Mount Vernon. So this would be New Row. Larchmont. All the green bars are stations. So we want to be on track four at Greenwich. Now, one thing before I solidify that is I want to make sure that, yeah, so the local train leaves right after us, that we don't have a reason where we need to cross over and cross back. Because if I can avoid that, I'd li if I have to do that, I want to do it now so I don't have to go back and be, like, spending forever knowing I have to go back and re rebuild stuff. Um, after Greenwich, we go all the way to Stamford. Stamford on this thing is easy to find because of the yard. And 
you can go in on any track you want. At Stanford, I'm going to go in on track 4 just to save the headache of all the crossing over. And because that's probably where this train would be. Okay, there is a New Canaan connection. Well, not really, but... Eh, you'd miss it. Basically, our train's going to make Stamford at... 824, whereas the, Stamford, the New Canaan branch train will have left Stamford at 822, so you won't see it. If there's a chance you'll see it, I may put it in there anyway, but uh, you probably won't see it. After we leave Stamford, we make Neroten Heights, which is the first stop, which is this guy here. See, this is the easy part. The, the, the pain in the arse part comes in later. Okay. Neroten Heights... Darian, we do make that. So that'd be this guy here. Oops, shit. I don't want that. Checkbox deletes. Oh, did I? Oh, no, I didn't, because I have to put something here. So whenever you see those red bars, it means something's wrong. And when this game decides it wants to have a minor seizure, everything just gets those. And then you just are like, oh, kill me now. You know, most it's the equivalent of like the blue screen of death. You know, when your computer shows you that dreaded blue screen, and it's just like, oh, damn it. So, Darian, and I have I have two screens on my computer, so the other monitor I have is showing me the timetable um, while I'm working on it. So let's see, Darian, we skip row eight and we make south. Whoops, I did it again. Now, almost always, because this game will not let you set a dwell time in the stations for lower than, like, 30 seconds, almost always, it says that the timetable is going to be too tight. So that was South Marwak. Now we got to make uh, Westport. So that'd be East Norwalk. So this would be West Norwalk. Westport, we skip Greens Farm, Southport, we make Fairfield and Fairfield Metro. So that would be Greens Farms. Southport. Where's Fairfield? There we go, Fairfield. I'm going to do some scenarios also that are not even close to, whoops, being correct, like, you know, you know, wrong rail halfway or something, you know, claiming it's a track work day or some crap, I don't know. But, uh, I'm trying to do, like, for a lot of the commuter rail routes, at least one correct timetable route so we can have some, I can have some fun with it. Because I enjoy running these, too. Bridgeport? Okay, yeah, now it's just everything. Um... Bridgeport on track four. Stratford. Let's go to Stratford, Milford. West Haven, and you can do this by like scrolling through everything and finding it, but I find that even more. If you like know what track you're running on, you don't have to do it this way. Now New Haven. Now we can come in on whatever track we want. 
we could be really stupid and come out on like track one or three or something, but come out on fourteen. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny, we come out on fourteen at fourteen hundred. Of course, all these times are going to get thrown out the window. They're going to get changed to starting at 7.30. This is where all this crap gets confusing as hell. So I'm going to finish inputting all the stations for... Even State Street. Or just so we get a little bit of interestingness. Let's come down and track 2 at State Street. Now, sometimes it'll let you go into the yard. Sometimes it won't. So we're going to just leave it alone, because I don't really care enough. Um, sometimes it'll let you change ends and do weird stuff, but sometimes it doesn't, and then sometimes that breaks it. So we're not going to mess with it, or I'm not going to mess with it for now. Um, boom, 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 boom. Final destination, and uh, we'll just make that even State Street track number two. Reality, the line goes that far okay so when you get to new haven state street that's what that's the thing that pops up and says you've completed this quick drive scenario and then dumps you onto the main menu all right so that is our train's entire run yay okay so now here's the difficult part in a perfect world, you could say start this damn thing at 5 in the morning. So you could put all the trains in starting at New Haven and just make them do their whole run. You can't do that, or the game will load it at 5.30 and you'll have to sit there for two and a half hours. So, we, are at, we leave at 7.30. So I can't start any trains before 7.30. But, these trains do start before 7.30... So that they get into Grand Central starting at 7.30 when we'll see them. Because the train, for example, the first train that we'll see on this line comes in from Danbury. No, I'm sorry. It comes in from Stamford. It makes a local stops to Rye and then goes express to 125 and gets into Grand Central Terminal at 7.30. Now we have two options. One, we can place it and have it just pull into Grand Central just to be a nuisance. Or two, we can assume it's already in. With something like that, I like to assume it's already in, because by the time you're actually done and ready to depart, the damn thing's already in. So we're going to just ignore that one for now. I don't know what the hell that is. But yeah, so you can even run stuff around the loop if you want. Um, boom, 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 boom. So the first train we're actually going to see, if we're not seeing this one at 7.30, which is train 1311, would be 1811, which is a Danbury train. So we're going to leave that one out for now, because that would be push-pull. And I'll put we'll put that in later, because I think we have to load that into the game. There's a train that puts in from New Rochelle at 7 o'clock, and it gets in at 7.39. So that's fine. We can do that. We can add that in. These are all the objectives that, that we need. They just stack up along the train. So the easy, So what you have to do is, because it's already left 125th Street at 26. Now we have two options we could actually do. One is, we could assume it's on time. If we assume it's on time, we have to figure out how to place it. Probably somewhere in the tubes. The other option is we assume it's running a little late and just place the darn thing at 125th Street and whatever happens, happens. So this is apparently what Manhattan looks like above the tubes. They sort of didn't bother. Oh, shit. That's north. That's Manhattan north. Um... So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to place the thing right at the entrance of the tubes, because that's the easiest place to put it. Okay. Okay. 
boom, 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 boom. So I'm just going to put it here. Uh, third rail, we'll just do an eight car one. Just pop that there. Now I'm going to come in here because i got to put the driver in it. So as soon as the scenario loads, so we're going to put this driver on here, facing the city. Now we're going to go back in here. Now this look familiar? So there's our train, 1510, and this one's now called Service 1, because there isn't a Service 1, because we changed the name of our train. So this is the 7 a.m. out of New Rochelle, which is train number 1211. So I'm not going to write train every time. I'm just going to put number 1211. Hit enter, and it changes the name. Eh, you know what, I will put train. When we have multiple railroads, you can even put, like, the railroad code in there. So, like, MNR, number 1211. I don't want, I want to make sure this button is not clicked, because it's not the player train. The player train is the one going the other way. And now we're going to go to the train. So he's here. So he's going to make one step, one step only. Now, this is the tricky part. These trains don't despawn. Right. Once you've placed the damn thing in the world, it's in the world. So we got to find somewhere to put it. So basically what happens is, like in the real world, these trains will turn and go back out. Here, they don't. They just sit. So fortunately, we have the biggest rail terminal in the world, although we only have the upper level. So what we're going to do is we're just going to start stacking them up on in Grand Central. So he's just going to come in. And because it's cool to watch it happen, right, to see a train actually move, and because Metro North doesn't care about, well, actually, that's a peak train, so they do care. But we're just going to say, load your passengers on track 30. So we probably will see it pull, we'll see it pulling in. So there's his red line, and he's coming through tube number three. Okay, taking a bit of a wobbly way, but I can't fix that. You can only assign them something that's either yellow, orange, or green. So he'll come in on 30, and his final destination will be 30. So it'll just park there. So now, what I usually do in situations like this is I take my post-it notes. I have the those jumbo post-it notes, and all I do is I keep track of what train, so 211, 1211, sorry. And I just write 211 and 30. That way I know that I've used up track 30. So I can't put a train there. Now, the last time I was talking about how I did this, someone said, well, what about track... And I had filled up a bunch of tracks, and then I assigned something track 20, whatever. In this case, 28. Well, I'm on 28. So they were concerned, how could I put something there? Well, it, I won't be there anymore. The player will have left. So, won't be a big deal once that happens. It will let you do that. Hello, the random fan. Um, so, I can't really see my chat because I have the... Um, I'm just checking back every once in a while on the chat. Because um, I need to have the timetable open. So, just fair warning. It's not that I'm ignoring people. It's that... I actually can't see it because I've got the, the big old timetable open. Actually, maybe I can do this so I can see everything. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so anyway. So that train pulls in. And it'll pull in roughly on time. Right, this like I've said, this game is not perfect. The dwell times are fixed. You can't do much about it, so whatever. So it's just life. What yard is this? This is uh, Grand Central Terminal. Yeah, why'd that move up there? Yep, we're creating uh, a true-to-time scenario for the New, the, uh, New York-New Haven line. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, so that would mean that 1211 is done. Now, I'm going to load this as a test now, and you'll see how everything interacts, okay? So, just hit exit. We just close that window, and we're going to hit the play button here. Now, it's going to ask me to save it. Of course, I want to save it, because if we know anything, is that train sim is a little glitchy from time to time. Now, like I said, I don't have any of the mods in, so the train physics and... Apparently I do have some of the mods in. At least that one. Why is this cab look weird? Oh, because it just is. Okay, so we'll put it forward. Give it a little throttle. And so now we're running this scenario in basically a test mode. Now... This is how you're supposed to be able to do it, but even Dovetail admits that it's glitchy. So, the best thing to do is actually quit and re-enter it, but I always like to see if it works first, because I'm not going to go all the way to New Haven. I just want to see that it works for a bit. Yeah, I know I'm speeding, I really don't care. Uh, whoops. Oh, I'm going to fucking kill this thing. Really? It did this? It chose to do a route like this? You gotta be sh me. You're f freaking kidding me. I'm going over again. Oh my god, again? See, this is why I like to go through them all and check. Because I'm pretty sure I told this damn thing. That's an interesting way of getting us over to track one. I mean, I guess it works. I'm going to leave it because I just don't care. And it's kind of funny. But. Can I show you how to... Oh, put the fan railer mods in? Um, yeah, I'll do that another time. Apparently, this is what it would look like if you went through the Grand Central Tunnels at 80. Or 90. Yeah, that horn is much better, isn't it? But then remember that other train that we placed? So there goes our train. See, he's moving too. So he's going to come in. He's actually going to put himself on 30. So I'm actually going to go... Quit. Yes. Now, I'm going to go main menu, build scenario. So this is, the, I haven't, so when I first start these, I don't know exactly what's, what train number I'm going to use, so I don't name them yet. I just put train, you know, MNR train, MNR number blank, and uh, I'm going to show you how to fix that. So the reason I can't change the time right away is because the time has to be set at the very beginning, and I like to peruse and, you know, sort of feel out what I'm doing. 
before I necessarily lock myself into one train time. So I test it when I first set up my train, and in this case, that little that little putt. And then uh, now I'm going to go in, I'm going to set the train number and the scenario name, as well as uh, the start time. All right, so now we're loading back into the editor here. And for some reason, it always loads here where you're, like, behind the loop. But this panel over here, this panel in the corner, is sort of the, the god of the editor. Um, this is where we'll put in our train number. And stupidly, once you click away from it, it's really a... I don't think you can reopen it without quitting the editor and loading back in. So we're 1510. Okay, and we're going to make the, the date of this scenario uh, 2019, 12, 7. That's fine. Um, how difficult? Which one is fine. How long it will take, we haven't really determined that yet. It's 7.30 to 9.40. So, um, well, let's just say 130 minutes. And then it's 07.30. So, 7.30 in the morning, it'll take about 130 minutes to do, because this is a full-scale, real-to-timetable run of this route. So... You're going all the way from Grand Central to State Street, making correct stops. It takes a while. That's just the nature of the beast. Uh, supply description and supply briefing. It's where you type the description that comes up for the route and the, brie and the briefing information that comes up. When you click on the route, I always do that at the end. Because you never know what you're going to come up with. Um, it would be winter, which it should be able to figure out from that. And then you can set the weather. So... I can make it snowing, I can make it hazy, I can make it foggy, clear. Um, any of these combinations. I don't know. I decide that at the end. What type of equipment? Electric. Um, I often don't just leave it at all. Because I just don't care. Who did it? Who created it? That's me. What's this one? I always forget. Oh, start location, Grand Central. Okay. And that's all the stuff that pops up. What's this one? Oh, if you want to give it a roll, like start. Uh, that's all the stuff that pops up, like, when you're loading the route. So when I send this off to the workshop, that you'll be able to pull um, from there. Now, I'm going to enter on that to save it all. And now once I click away and start doing other things, that panel will disappear and will remain basically disappeared forever. Which is so freaking annoying. But, I mean, I guess technically you could do all that before you start. I just never do. Okay, so, we've set, if we go back to the timetable editor, this is that little number train, and then this is our train. Now you can see departure time is not 12 noon, maybe 07, 30. Grand Central. Now this is the damn problem. Go to scheduler. Thirty-five is the shortest dwell time you can have. So the first station, I usually don't say anything. I let it do its own thing. So we're gonna leave a little bit late. Whoop de do. Um, I mean, I guess I could bump the start time back a little bit, but it just doesn't matter that much. Harlem, and then I, I'm gonna go through all of these at some point. And correct them to the timetable. That's what takes a lot of time. 
But first, we're going to place all the other trains so that if it decides to go screwy, it ain't the end of the world. So we leave at 7.30. So we placed the we placed train number 1211, which is the new Rochelle train of stupidity. I hate those things. Now we've got a train that leaves New Haven at 5.40 in the morning. Perfect. It leaves 125th Street at 7.28. That's close enough in my book to place one at 125th Street and have it leave at 7.30. Um, because New Haven is, or, uh, Metro North is famous for their immaculate on time performance. So we open, we click on this little, uh, compass doodad here, hit the play, hit the play button after we click on our, where we want to go, and it'll jump us to it. Let the game load. This is sometimes where it wigs out. Um, because you're loading the whole area in these big chunks, sometimes you get an out of memory error. Which is just annoying, but, you know. Oh, well. You are asking the game to do a fair amount. So that's north, that's the bridge. I have no idea what these things are. But they're everywhere, so I just don't care. I think they have to do with the camera. Um, you're there, they're sound files. But anyway, so that's the, the bridge. The tubes are over there. So, it is the AM peak. It's the middle of the AM peak. So they basically have, for those of you who don't know, three tracks coming in, one track going out. Uh, it's just pushing as much into Grand Central as they can. So for this train, I'm going to put it on. So this is going to be our outbound track that we're going to use. So I'm going to stick an eight-car set right there. And that's where he's going to stop. So he's going to be sitting there, ready to go. I'm just zooming in so we can make sure we're on the platform all the way. And I'm going to put a driver on it. We got our driver. And now we can timetable it. Hey, wait a second. Do I now need to get pissed off with this game? Okay, there it goes. Those are one of those glitches that just gives you a heart attack for no reason at all, because it's just a glitch. But you're like, I just spent a lot of time on that. This was the the 540 from New Haven, which is train number 1530. Okay, now the reason the train numbers are so important, like I said, but don't start... Whenever I name these things, when I first did it, I was like, it's the NH530, so like the 530 departure from New Haven. It doesn't work. Again, it's not the player train. So we're going to depart, we're going to not, they're not going to bother loading there. We're not going to see a load. I don't, it doesn't matter. But we already put a train, according to my sticky note, on 30. So we'll put this one, we'll just make our lives easier, and we'll have him come straight in. To 32 track. And then terminate. Okay, so 1530. On 32. And we can choose which tunnel he uses. They have... Let's see, what what the, what is the game decided? He's just going to come straight in. I'm okay with that. I'm going to leave that alone. <clears throat> so, 15.30, he's supposed to get in here. Oh, it's 1513, my bad. It's higher than I thought it was. And 
And he's actually due in to Grand Central at 41. So he'll make it with plenty of time. Supposedly. Because we don't have the other stuff pushing out that will, you know, delay things. So the next train we can make... Would be this guy here. 13-13. So 13-13 comes out of... Harlem, 125th Street at 33. So this is where your problem starts to set in. It's like, well, where do I put it? Well, you have to sort of guesstimate three or four minutes back. Make it a six-car train for a little variety. I'm going to just put it there. Like I said, it's a guesstimate. MNR. Number 13. Oops. 1313. Starting at 730. You'll make a stop at 125th Street. And I'm going to have him just ride the guy in front of him. Come on. So he's supposedly not going to make that stop at 32. Which is... He'll leave at 33, which is perfect. And I'll just put him... Because we're not going to see it, I just need somewhere to put him. I'm going to put them on the next track over. So, 33. And then we'll end them on 33. Okay. So, this just keeps going. And going. It takes a lot of time. Um, yeah, I guess I can go through. I'm just going to keep... So, this is what this live stream is going to look like. <laughs> um, some people will be really boring. Some people are interesting. Um, yeah, so, you know, if you do have questions, if you do want me to add something weird to it, let me know. Um, I can see the chat from where... I have everything set up now, so. That being said, I'll keep working on this. So, this will probably take more than just this evening to do. Um, but I'm going to try and get this done so I can get it released. I mean, if you stick around late enough, I'm going to, maybe I'll finish it tonight. Other than figure out what I'm eating for dinner, I don't really have anything to do. So, and get rid of these hiccups. Excuse me. Um, so if you stick around long enough, you can be the first ones to figure out when it's going to go into the um, workshop. What was the last one we just did? 1313. 13. So 1315. He's at 125 at... 37, so let's just back him up a bit. Eh. Let's... Forgot those aren't jump twos. Um, you can put them over by Fordham. Let's see, make Fordham? No.
Put them over here. Freaking bad. All right, where are we putting him? So 33 was the last one. So we'll put him on 34. Now we have him coming in at 48. He's doing it 50. It's pretty good. Because we're going to add more outbounds. Uh, actually, no, we're not going to add more outbounds. There's no reason to add more outbounds. It will just slow the game down. So you will see some of these things. The schedule will start to deviate as they get closer. Hello. Um, do, 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 what did I say? 34. He's coming in on. So it is pretty easy. They just move over one every time. But once you fill up to 42... So once we're well gone of like one two five, the last guys can drop out in the tunnels. You don't need them to make it all the way to one twenty five. You know, all the way into Grand Central. You're not gonna be there. Um, so, so that one's done. That was thirteen fifteen. Next train is fifteen seventeen. Damn things are just like two minutes apart. That's south. I need to go north. Uh oh, did I just fuck this up? Oh no, I'm good. Okay. Now we're probably going to see an error. So this would be train who and a what now? 1517. Now the reason I'm putting MNR each time is because we're going to have Amtrak trains. Um, once we get to that part of the route, let's jump over to where it is. Yeah, this might give us an error. 1517, he comes into Harlem, 125th Street at 739.
Oh, he'll be a minute late, but that's fine. Grand Central, he'll be on 35 track. At 51, how bad is that? No, 52, so he's fine. Gonna be a minute late into 125, but that's not a big deal. Okay. So I'm gonna say okay, and I wanna test it again. So I'm going to save my changes, and it's going to load it up as a test. Hey, the game developed a glitch. It stopped loading the rails. Great. Oh, wait. Nope, there it goes. Just took forever. So now we could actually just pull up to the end of the platform and sit there, and all these trains that we've just laid out will pull in. To wherever we told them to. But let's be honest, that's not really fun. <coughs> Actually, I have the lineup, so it might. It might force me to go first. Yeah, it's going to do this weird route again. I'm going to look into that later. But let's see how we're doing with trains here. He hasn't started moving yet. He's moving. He's moving. Thirteen, fifteen's moving, and then fifteen, seventeen is on the roll. throwing the back off here just to speed up this process. So 12.11 will deal, I'll deal with it. See, this is why we do this, because now we know there's a problem with 12.11. We're going to have to fix that problem with 12.11 before we can move on. Otherwise, you move on. If you move on before you fix it, now you got this train sitting there dead. You try to route something else through that tunnel, and the whole thing freaks out. Blah, 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 blah. You can't do that. You got the train there. It's like well, I told you to move that train. So, before we can move on, we got to fix that. I'm just running the wheels off this thing as a test to make sure we don't crash. Like to make sure the game doesn't crash. The train might. But I want to make sure that the game doesn't. I 
There's that one that doesn't want to move. See, there goes our train doing a hundred and one. But there goes an inbound train. Now remember we are loading this out of the scenario editor, so it does take, it, it's loading bigger, like, batches. I can't believe I just made that. Oh, nope, first card. Oh, I made that. My passengers don't like me too much, but I did make that. This is a train to Haven State Street. Greenwich is next, then clear to close doors. Um, so now we'll throttle up. Here comes the next one. Now I'm just gonna stop this. I'm gonna get get off it for a second, and you'll see he actually. I don't know if it'll open the doors necessarily, but he will make the stop. Hmm. I actually better keep going to Greenwich because I don't wanna be late. Now, he doesn't know not to go all the way in deep. Alright, so he's not going to, unless he pulls himself off the end. No, so he's not going to pop his doors, but he does make the stop. And I'm going way too fast for this interlocking. Oh, passed another one. Is that the last one? Yeah. Thirteen fifteen left yet? And there he goes. So that's how it works. So theoretically, if you made this like a rail fame, well, you'd see all these trains going by and doing what they're supposed to do. If they're stopping, if they're going, if they're that's kind of cool. The snow doesn't come under the bridge. Um, yeah, theoretically, that would work. My phone just make noise. Alright, so with that being said, we're going to now hit Control e and that'll load us back into the editor, but it never really works. So we're just going to quit. Exit. Oh, I sped twice. I took an M8. I think he took 12... Uh, 9 miles. Yay! 
stop at zero, zero destinations, because your destination is just uh, your last stop. Uh, I did not add or remove any rail vehicles, which is good. Uh, I refueled zero times, because the damn thing's electric, and I picked up no freight, because it's a passenger train. But we did uh, stop at one of 16 platforms. So now we're going to go back to the menu. Back to build. And I always go in this way. I know you don't have to. but So the way I do these is I set them up as timetabled routes. So they want to follow the, the timetable. Then I just hit edit. So, if I pull up the timetable for a second. So, this is our train over here, the 730 Express Train, 1510. We've got, so far, of the ones we've completed, we're, we've done 12, 11, 15, 13, 13, 13, 13, 15, 15, 15 17. Basically, we have to go all the way. We get into New Haven at 10... That's not right. We get in at 9.30. So we have to go all the way... to here. Well, actually here. This is why this takes so long. Yeah, seen how long it takes to put in what, four trains. Um, we still need to put in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, oh no, we'll miss that one, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, um, 41, 42, 43, 44, 40, oh no, four, uh, we'll miss these two. 45, 46. We have like 40 more trains we're gonna put in. So it'll be a little while. Then I gotta put in the trains that come in from, uh, the Harlow Boy, the Hudson Line, and, uh, Amtrak. So, they're bi it's a big route. I am not going to stream this whole thing today. Um, I'm going to probably, what I'm probably going to do is leave the, um, I'll probably come back to streaming in a bit, but uh, I'm supposed to get up tomorrow. So, tomorrow's the holiday train. So we'll see. Um, I like streaming, doing this kind of stuff, but uh, again, it does take a fair amount of time, and this takes forever. So, keep working on that. But enough jabber, we'll never get this done if I uh, just keep talking. So. I'm just going to keep working on it. This is the one that didn't want to move. I don't know why. Whatever. Seventy. 
will start at Mount Vernon East. This is coming from 15, 13, 13, 17. No, I'm coming from the other shell. So we're going to make this a six car set. Give it a driver, timetable. Oh, next stop is Grand Central. So I'm not even going to move the map. I'm just going to go scroll down. Oops, I passed it. GCT, and I want it on track 36. So fourteen and seventeen. I'm going to place that. I'm going to place that at one stop back in the center of drag at Pelham. I'm going to place it just inside of the changeover.
14, 17, yes it was. Fourteen seventeen. You stop at one twenty fifth. At forty five. How accurate is that? Perfect. That's bang on. And you make Grand Central on 37, you're going to go in on. At 56, how's that sound? Yep, you're supposed to be at 59, so that's good. I did the one for Long Branch. I actually did it an easier way. I got out, I got one of those uh, paper timetables from uh, New Jersey Transit, laid it out, and checked them off as I was done. So now I need to do 14, 19. Fourteen nineteen gets in literally three minutes later. Fourteen nineteen. Fourteen nineteen. You're going to go on thirty eight, but you're going to make stops at one two five at Grand Central only. So we have you there at 46, so it's actually early, but you're going to get stuck in the conga line. Thirty-eight, I said. Thirty-eight at 57. Close enough. So I think I'm going to end the stream here. I'm going to keep working on this. But this is obvious. As you can see, this is going to take hours. So unless people want to watch this happen. And let me know in the comments if you do. But um, I can't imagine that many people want to just watch this route slowly come together. Um, I think it's about time we test it again probably. Let's save and test.
It will all load. I'm just gonna give it a second. You know what? Good enough. It loads without erroring out. I'm happy with that. Alright. So, like I said, I'm going to end the stream there for now. Um, depending how far I get in the next, like, two hours. Um, it's probably about as long as I'm going to work on it. I will... I'll probably come on again around 10, 30, 11 o'clock. To kind of show an update. Um... Tomorrow I'm busy all day. I'm going to be on the holiday train in New York City if anybody uh, wants is going to be there. And uh, after that, uh, I'll probably come back and work on this a little more if I have the energy. Alright, thank you all for watching, and uh, have a good night.